How can you tell if information on the web is reliable? As we search, we're going to look for the following. Accuracy. Is the information correct? Authority. Who is behind the information? Coverage. Is the information in-depth? Does it contain facts and citations? Currency. Is the information up-to-date? Objectivity. Is the information biased? A website's address, or URL, and Internet domain can tell you a lot about its authority and credibility, so that's a good place to begin. These websites are from institutions of higher education, like colleges and universities. Faculty and students can publish personal web pages through their institutional domain, so .edu sites are not automatically credible. One way to identify a personal site is if a tilde appears in the URL. These sites come from the U.S. federal government or state governments and are highly regulated. These include statistical reports, departmental and agency resources, legislative and legal documents, and information about state and federal governments. Organizational websites are not as strictly regulated. They can be owned by non-profit or for-profit organizations. They can represent any type of social, environmental, religious, medical, charitable, political, or educational group. Commercial sites offer information, products, and services to purchase. This domain is one of the largest on the web and can include search engines such as Google and newspaper companies such as the New York Times. Let's search for information about Martin Luther King Jr. We can either use an advanced search or use advanced search techniques in a basic search. In this example, we want to find the exact name Martin Luther King Jr. so we can put those words in quotation marks. This shortcut works for any commonly used phrase, name, or title. All of your search results will include the keywords you entered and therefore may all seem relevant. Before you select a site, take a closer look at the URL to see where the information is coming from and what type of material you can expect to find there. Here are examples of organizational sites. The first site in the results list is the site that is visited the most. It does not mean that the site is most reliable. In this case, the site listed is Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia that anyone can edit. Wikipedia may be a good place to get a general overview and the entries may include links to credible resources. However, information from Wikipedia can be edited or changed several times a day by anyone around the world. Despite the currency of the information, there is no indication of the author or editor in Wikipedia articles. Therefore, information from Wikipedia must be verified by a reliable source to ensure objectivity and credibility. Let's take a look at an example of another .org website. This is martinlutherking.org. This site claims to contain historical and academic information about Dr. King. However, there is no clear indication of authorship and no organizational information that is immediately apparent, so we will have to explore the contents for clues as to who is behind this information. This web article contains no author or date and has incomplete citations. There is also a typo on the page which indicates inaccurate content. Let's try to find additional publication information at the bottom of the main page. Based on the content and apparent authority, martinlutherking.org is an example of an organizational website which has misleading authority and is not reliable or credible. Let's return to our search results and look at an example of an educational site. Based on the URL, we can tell that this one is associated with Stanford University. First, look for an author or authors listed on the main page. There may also be a, an About or Contact Us section. This site provides a staff directory so we can see who is behind the information. In addition to the fact that this site is based at Stanford University, we now have information about the authority and credentials of the people who contribute to this site. 
We've checked the website's authority, now let's look for dates to indicate the currency. You can often find additional publication and copyright information at the bottom of the home or main page of the website. Now that we've verified the authority and currency, let's explore the content. This site contains both primary and secondary information. There are links to recordings of King's speeches, autobiography, and writings, as well as secondary scholarship written by the staff of the Research Institute. Based on the academic authority, the currency, the scope of the information, and the overall contents of the site, we can tell that this is a reliable and credible resource. Remember that you can always ask a librarian for help evaluating websites.